Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alia and today we are opening up the Glossy Box. This is the November Glossy Box and there was a bit of a problem this month but it, it all got resolved very quickly. Um, basically I got charged double. I usually only get the one box every month. Um, but for some reason they charged me for two boxes. The Glossy Box was quick with dealing with the situation. So basically they issued me a full refund for the one box and they just basically said like just keep both of the boxes as like a sorry. So instead of opening up just the one box I've actually got the two boxes here which we're going to be opening. It'll be interesting as well to see what products are different between the variations. So here are my two boxes here. This one is the UK Variation 1 Fed. And this one, if I can find it, is the UK Variation 1.1 Fed. So, yeah, as I said, there's going to be different products. So I'm just really interested to see what's actually different between the variations. So let's just go ahead and open them up and see. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and open up the Variation 1 Fed one. Um, yeah, so if we just go ahead and open that up now and take a look. We've resolved back to the original pastel pink colour. Um, I actually really do like this colour, but I love it when they do like the different themes on their box. Like October was Enchanted, so it's a different theme there. Um, but yeah, November didn't really have a theme to it as much. So obviously the box isn't going to be different. So it's nicely packaged with the normal black bow. Just undo that. So this month's glossy box is Makeup and Magic, as you can see on the card. So it says, we know our glosses can never get enough of little glimmer, shimmer and glow. And with the end of the year fast approaching, we know you're more than ready to combine all three to create some magic. Which is why in your November's Makeup Magic box, you'll find some amazing brands that will prepare you perfectly for any upcoming celebrations. So pour yourself a glass of champagne, invite over your besties and begin conjuring up some glamorous glam looks. So I've just had a little look at what is actually on here and this month's one doesn't actually look so bad. Um, to be honest, I've never thought any of their boxes have been quite bad. Like I've loved every single box, but this one's really nice. Oh, uh, Also, the sneak peek for next month is next month marks what us at Glossy HQ describes as the best time of the year. During colder seasons though, we know skin needs extra care, which is why next month we're bringing you Symbiosis, Glycolic Acid and RNA Overnight Rejuvenating Eye Serum. That eye serum alone is worth £102 and it says it will leave your skin visibly firmer and healthier. So for £102, you've got way over than what you pay for for the box. I mean, I only pay like 11 75 So for £102 on just one product, and then you've got four more products inside of it, that is definitely a really good deal. Glossy Box actually sells out so fast as well. So if you are interested in what next month's box will be, then I'd definitely say go and put in to get next month's because once it's gone, like it will go so fast. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull out the first product which is this LA Splash Cosmetics Eyeshadow Palette. I mean, just look at the packaging on the front of that. Like, that looks so beautiful. And the actual eyeshadow palette is the same, but it's just black. Whereas this was gold with black, this is black with gold. And how many colours are in there? There's actually eight um, shades in there. And it comes with a nice mirror as well. So as you can see, the shades there. The shades in there you'll be able to work with with each of the colours so it's not like you have to use some of these colours from this and then have to use another palette because nothing else will match like everything in this palette is what could be used to make an eye look basically one thing I still can't really do is eyeshadow like I just don't I can't do it at all so I have been practicing with that which is why I hardly ever put any eyeshadow on just because I'm not the best at it some of mystical forces with the most magical highlighting palette ever created providing the right balance of undertones these spell binding shades complement any complexion. Whether for day or night, start by applying a light shade all over the lid, then add a darker shade to your outer crease and blend. Highly pigmented, these pressed powder shadows also allow for easy application with minimum fallout. And if you actually buy this, this is the full size by the way, like there's no other bigger size. 
but this is £29 and you can buy this at the LASplashCosmetics.com. One thing I've just noticed as well looking at the back of the palette it actually says that it's cruelty free. Moving on to the next product we have the Spectrum Zodiac. This is vegan and cruelty free and this is the B07 Tall Crease Blender Brush look how that is packaged as well so everything's quite like um mystical in this box like we've noticed like the stars just i don't know they're kind of all linking i think but yeah so that is what it actually looks like and it says it's the limited edition b07 brush add definition to otherworldly makeup with this tall pointed blender brush the super soft synthetic bristles on this limited edition black and gold tall taper the tip into a defined flame shape which will effortlessly glide across the lid and into the crease of the eye, blend in sweeping motions to create an enchanting eye look. Once again, this is also full size and the retail price for this is $7.99. You can buy this at thespectrumcollections.com and it also has their um, social media and their website written on the back of the packaging. But yeah, so if we just take a look and open this, see what it looks like, if it wants to open out. Okay, so it's just basically a gold and black brush. It's got its name written on there, Spectrum B07. Um, the bristles do feel really nice and soft. Yeah, the bristles do feel really nice and soft. And I do really like the feel of that. Um, like I said, I'm still learning how to do eyeshadow, really. So, I mean, what better than actually having a palette and a brush so now I can actually practice some looks. The third product I'm actually going to pick out now is Kibella Professional. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's the Recharge and Restore Purple Moonstone Glitter Gel Mask. It recharges mind and rejuvenates the skin. It says to use this hydrating mask to help leave your skin looking radiant. Containing skin conditioning caffeine and cleansing charcoal powder. It will help to rejuvenate and revive the skin. Enriched with moonstone extract and glitter particles to help leave your skin feeling fresh and bright. Um, this is actually suitable for vegans as well. It says on the back. This is the 15 grams and I believe this is also full size. And um, that is what the gel mask looks like. I mean, the front of it looks really nice. And I'm guessing if it's got glitter particles, whether it will actually turn out like how she's wearing it kind of. But... Anyway, if we go back to reading this, it says Lusting after radiant glowing skin, well this hydrating gel mask will cast a spell and make exactly that happen. Enriched with recharging moonstone extracts and glitter shimmer particles, this mask will help leave your skin feeling bright and nourished. Simply add the mask with your fingertips to freshly cleanse skin and leave to work its magic for 15 minutes. Now, if you were to buy this, it is $2.49 and you can get that from the kibellabeauty.com. Now, we have two products left inside the box. One of them is a deluxe mini size and the other is full size. So, I'm just going to go ahead and pull out the deluxe mini one, which is a clay mask, I believe. So, I'm just going to pull it out now. This is the Generation Clay Ultraviolet Brightening Purple Clay Mask with the Australian Botanicals with Davidson Plum. Now, this can actually be used to refine, brighten, illuminate and nurture. So, apply an even layer to clean, dry skin. Wait approximately 10 minutes or until the mask starts to tighten. Then you have to use water to gently rinse off the mask in a circular motion, then pat your skin dry. This is also cruelty free. So, I feel like quite a few of the products which are in here are actually cruelty free, which is really good. I mean, considering this is the deluxe mini size, it's actually quite decent. I mean, it's 50 millilitres. That's quite good considering it's a deluxe mini size. So this is the Generation Clay Ultraviolet Brightening Purple Clay Mask. This brightening purple clay mask has seemingly magical properties. Formulated with Australian Davidson Plum, which is a natural superfruit that gently acts like an exfoliating acid. It will transform your appearance by rejuvenating dull, tired skin and lightening dark circles and pigmentation. Simply apply an even layer to clean dry skin, leave it to tighten for 10 minutes and then wash off with water. So like I said, this is the deluxe mini size which is 50 millilitres and if you used to buy this size it would cost you 
£19.32. If you were to get the full size, which is 75 millilitres, it will cost you £40.21. There's not much difference between the deluxe mini size and the full size. I mean, this is 50 and the full size is 75 millilitres, so there's what, like only 25 millilitres difference. And this is available to buy at generationclay.com. And finally, the last product which is inside the box is the full size one, and that is going to be the Argan Oil. So, this is actually a hair mask, and they do all different ones. This is the Repairing Deep Conditioner. So, this strengthens and restores dry, damaged hair, and it is colour safe formula. So, even if you do have coloured hair, it's going to be fine. The one I did use before was for coloured hair because, as most of you probably know, I did have red hair. Um, and then obviously I had to dye that black because school wouldn't allow it but yeah anyway so I have used the coloured one before and I liked that but yeah I've not tried this mask before so this is the Argan Oil Repairing Deep Conditioner by Hask it's formulated with organic Argan Oil unique to Morocco this deep conditioner will turn dry and damaged hair into luscious locks as if it's by magic Super strengthening, intensely hydrating, massage this miracle working product into clean wet hair, focusing on the damaged areas. Then leave it on for up to 10 minutes before rinsing well. Uh, just for this alone, it will cost you £2 and you can buy this at haskbeauty.com. One thing as well with these is it does feel like you have a lot in the package. This actually has 50 millilitres in it. So if you kind of think about it, it's basically got the same amount in as what this tube has. So it really does look a lot. My hair would definitely use the whole of this package because of how thick it is. And it's quite big as well, especially when it's curly. So yeah, my hair would just use all of this up. It does actually say on the back though that each package contains two to three uses. Personally, I don't feel as though I'd get two to three uses out of this with my hair. But I mean every person's different so it might do two to three uses for yourself it just depends and it also depends on how dry or damaged your hair is because if you've got a lot of like damaged areas to apply it to then you that would have to be taken into consideration also but the whole aim of this is to help reduce split ends and leave the most damaged hair soft and nourished so that is actually every single product that is finished out of this box that was the variation one so now we're just going to take a look and open up the variation 1.1 and see if any of the products are the same and if we can compare any of them so we'll go ahead and do that now i'll just pop the products back in this box so we don't get them confused so here i have the glossy box november 2020 uk variation 1.1 fed so, as I said, we're just going to take a look and open this one up to see if we compare it to the variation one. See what's different and just take a look at the products, really. Okay, so just like the other variation, the box is no different. It's still the same pastel pink colour. So, yeah, nothing's changed with the box. Opening it up with the bow. The bow has done really nice in this box. It's also the same theme, makeup and magic, but the theme will be the same for everyone. I mean, it's November. They're not going to give one theme to someone and another theme to another. So it's all the same. Still the makeup and magic theme. Oh, one thing I have noticed. In my other box, it didn't have the sticker that was separating it. This one did have the sticker. I mean, I'm not too fussed, though. It's a sticker. Like, I've still got the products in it. Okay, so if I just open it up. Oh, okay. Everything's exactly the same. So in this box, even though it's a different variation, I've still got exactly the same. Is the I've got the eyeshadow palette. I'll just make sure that it's got the same colours in as the other one. Yeah. Exactly the same. It's got every single colour in there, what the other one did have. So we've got the same eyeshadow palette. We've got the same clay mask. Same hair mask, the exact same, the argan oil one. The other glitter gel mask, we've got the same. And we've got the eyeshadow brush. I'll just check and make sure it is the same. We had the B07 Tall Crease Bender. So every single product's the exact same as what I got in the variation one. 
so I'm not quite sure why that one was called the variation 1.1 I thought that some of the products would be different because they do actually do different variations and I have seen people post what they've got and that's not what I've got in this box um, so obviously the different variations do have different products like when you join glossy box you have to do a beauty profile tell them what you prefer what your hair types like this is like all different things about yourself and then they tailor the box to your needs so that's when the different variations come into play overall though i was impressed with this month's box i can't wait to try it the eyeshadow and the eyeshadow brush just because like i said i'm learning to use eyeshadows i'm learning to do more eye looks rather than just the one color on the lid i need to actually learn how to do different styles so yeah so these will come in together really well to help me practice i'm actually intrigued to know what these are like more so this one as it's like got glitter particles in it however it said it's quite good for you because i thought like having glitter in it would irritate your skin but i guess i'll just have to try that to see i have quite sensitive skin so i'm not sure how i feel about having the glitter in it oh it says on the back precaution for external and adult use only keep out of reach of children use as directed not for use on sensitive or broken skin so I don't know how that's going to work out. I mean, I've got sensitive skin, but I still want to use it. <laughs> it sounds cool. Like, even though I've got sensitive skin, I still use stuff I'm not supposed to use. And I know that's really bad, but it looks pretty. So if it's pretty, I'm going to try it. <laughs> yeah, I'm still going to try it. And I mean, if it's fine with my skin, then even better. Um... I mean, if you have sensitive skin and you don't want to use it, that's fine. I'm not telling anyone with sensitive skin to go and use it because everyone reacts to things in different ways. I mean, it's on me if anything happens, like if I come out with like a rash or anything, it was my fault because I did read the precaution. It is there and I still am going to go against it to try it. So if anything happens, that's on me. No, I'm actually, I don't know. I'm excited to try this. Same with this, like I can't believe for a mini size, like a deluxe mini size, this costs near enough £20, that's crazy. So something's got to be good about it, but for selling their products for this price, they must be doing really well and people must really like it. There's obviously good properties to this if it's so expensive. So I actually can't wait to go and try that. I mean, I've already tried the Hask brand before, like I said, I tried the coloured um hair mask and that was really well i think that had like rose in or something like that but this one's the argan oil one i do use quite a lot of argan oil products already like i use shampoo and conditioner um that i did have like a tub of like a hair mask thing but i've never used the hask argan oil for the, like dry damaged hair i've only used it for colored hair so i'm interested to see how that will actually help my hair Sometimes my hair can look a bit dry and damaged, like no matter how much hair oil I actually put in, my hair would just like, I guess like drink up the oil, it would absorb it so much and my hair will still sometimes still look trashy and dry. So I'm going to try this, see if it helps. My mum also like makes her own hair oils for us, so she puts like loads of different things, we've got like carrot oil, different like essential oils what you can actually be used for your hair to help stimulate hair growth and everything and i find that the hair oils that my mom makes actually helps my hair like she'll straighten it and my hair will look so nice and slick so shiny as well without it being oily like my hair will be so good mom also does hair masks as well i feel like the last one that she did for me was an avocado hair mask and that was so good like I don't like eating avocado, but in my hair, it smelled so good. And once we washed it out, my hair was so shiny and smooth. I don't know. But avocado is really good for your hair as well. So, yeah. So, I'm going to see that. See if it works as well as the ones that my mum does for my hair. And, yeah. If it does, that's a bonus. I mean, for a price as little as £2, that's not really bad. And like it said, it gives two to three uses as i said before though it all depends on your hair whether you'd need more or less but last time i used the other one i used it all and it covered my hair still needs probably a bit more because of how thick my hair was when it was wet but i mean two pound 
isn't bad at all so that is actually the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching if you aren't already please subscribe to my channel leave a like on this video and comment down below anything whether it be new video suggestions what products you liked out of this box what looked interesting to you just anything really that you want to comment and i'll see you next time for another video i'm not sure yet whether it'll be another unboxing video i have ordered some clothes recently i've ordered from fabletics and i've still got to do my boohoo try on they will be coming soon so if you just turn on the post notifications you'll never miss out when i post so yeah i don't actually have a set routine of the days when i post so it's kind of just like whenever i film something i'll post it then i've just been so busy with like uni and working that I just film on the days I have off. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching anyway. Bye.